Hello, this is Chen Wei. I'm going to introduce my data visualization final project to you. <clears throat> my final project is about Logan International Airport. I use two parts of data. The first is uh, weather data. The second is aviation data. <clears throat> Let's go through it. The weather data comes from National Centers for Environmental Information. This is a government website which have the data from all the weather stations across the United States. You can search the climate data from here. So at the beginning of the semester, I intended to do a project <coughs> that draws a map and uh, put the points to represent the weather of each weather station. But then later I found that it's impossible because this website doesn't support me to download a lot of da data at once. If I want to use uh, data from across the United States, I cannot even download the data from one week or one month. So it's very hard to do that. But in exploration of the weather data, I found one weather station is very special because it has all kinds of data, like the temperature, precipitation, snow, and all kinds of special data which is not included in other weather stations. And then I found this weather station is located at Logan Airport. That's why it's very sophisticated because the airport needs many kinds of data of weather. So I had the idea to combine the aviation data to the airport data. So I searched the Logan Airport data of that, which is that weather station I just found and got all kinds of attributes like the date, <coughs> average wind speed, and precipitation, snow, T average, T max, T min, and the <clears throat> uh, yeah, and the wind speed, fastest two minute wind speed, fastest five second wind speed, and all kinds of special weather which will have influence on the flight, like the ice thunder, glaze, smoke, <clears throat> and fog. So I get the weather data. The next part is the aviation data. It's also from a web, uh, government website. It contains all the flight from all the airport carried by all the airlines in the United States. It's a very detailed data source. But I just need the delay and the delay caused by weather. And only in Logan Airport for the three years. So the data will be very uh, not very large. This is the data I got from the aviation data source. It's grouped, grouped by months, and I use a, some Python code to convert it into the data I really need. It's a date, departure delay, weather caused departure delay, and canceled. <clears throat> okay, after I get the data, I draw some prototypes with Vigalite API. It's like the T max against date and T min against T max. T max. We can see um, 
here the precipitation is represented by the shape and here we can see the t min and t max has roughly a linear relationship here are some questions these questions are raised at the very beginning so they are very easy to answer like what's the relationship between t max and t min uh, is the relationship influenced by precipitation yeah it can be addressed here and uh, let's skip some of them how is the temperature distribution across the year like this plot can answer the question do extreme weather conditions influence flights this should be answered with uh, aviation data uh, and along with the project i have more and more questions and also most of them are solved at the end of the visualization. I draw some sketches. Um, this is a scatter plot. Color represents weather type. Size represents precipitation. And this is a count of the weather type. This is a ring chart. The circle is the average value and the path around the circle is a daily value. As for in interaction, I intended to make a menu to filter data of specific intervals and make a menu to choose different indices of, temp of weather. Actually, this is weather, like snow, precipitation, and flight, like cancel or delay, and also some Two tips. For the schedule, I think I roughly finished it at the end of the project. For the questions, most of them are answered by the professor, which is very helpful. So this is some versions I built <clears throat> in the process, like the first one. It's just a scatter plot with some size and color and tool tips. Oh, by the way, they are built in Withub, which is a very convenient platform to build the data visualization. You can see the result immediately. This one actually is forked from the professor's prototype. It can if you hover on the color legend the corresponding record will will be popped up popped up and then i built some ring chart this one is built by rectangle each of the lines actually are rectangles and then i built one with path. This is a line chart instead of a bar chart, but I think it, it looks like looks a little messy, so I get rid of it. But this one is the bar chart built by arc, not rectangle. It looks nice. And I changed, changed the color to represent the bad weather, like the fog or something like thunder. Then I, I, I added interaction. When you hover on the direction, not actually on the bar, on the direction of the bar, you can see the tool tip and the corresponding bar will change color. And finally, the final version, I built two linked views. <clears throat> when you hover on this scatter plot, the corresponding bar downside will also change it, its color. You can see 
there is an orange dot bouncing up and down. It's hard to see because the canvas is has only a small window. Let's see here. You can see the color changes, the tooltip shows up, and the corresponding bar downside is also ch changing color. And vice versa, if you hover down in the rain chart, the color of the scatter plot and the corresponding bar also change its color. And we can also see the tooltip. And I also added the color legend, color legend, and the axis representing the month. Okay, this is my project. I also have some future works to do. They create a menu, make the code dynamic, and also rewrite with React create a hover effect to select different years because actually I have three years of data but I only display one year's data. I can also add another axis to the range chart to represent the delay value. Okay, this is my project. Thanks for watching.